Some things you stumble upon feel so ordinary at first, so faint and unremarkable, that you almost ignore them. But then the shape of the world twists, and you realize you're looking at something no one should ever see. An interstellar object has just done the unthinkable. The entity known as Three Eye Atlas, once catalogued as a mere comet, has projected a focused beam of light directly at Earth. Scientists are no longer whispering theories of ice and dust. Their faces have gone pale. The data is not random. It's not natural. It's deliberate. And the question has shifted. No longer what is it? But why is it watching us? This isn't a story you'll want to miss. Subscribe now. Stay with this unfolding mystery. Because what you're about to learn could be the first chapter of something far bigger than we've ever imagined. It began like countless other cosmic tales, a single point of dim light drifting against the vast, indifferent canvas of the stars. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas Telescope Network detected a new object slicing silently across the heavens. It was faint, forgettable even, a mere tremor in the night sky. At first glance, nothing about it set off alarms. But as orbital models were run, as data crunched through the algorithms, an unease began to stir. This object was not looping gracefully around the sun like planets or comets. It was on a hyperbolic trajectory, a path unbound, a visitor from the void. It had entered our neighborhood from deep interstellar space, here for a brief singular pass before vanishing forever. They named it Three Point I, the third confirmed interstellar object humanity had ever seen. But the name was just a label. The thing itself was stranger than the numbers could hold. Its first classifications were muddled, was it a comet? An asteroid? A wandering shard of alien debris? It glowed faintly, but not in any way familiar to astronomers. There were signs of a diffuse haze, a coma, the fuzzy veil produced when sunlight boils ice off a comet's surface. But the behavior was wrong. The brightness flickered inconsistently. The light bent strangely, as though following its own physics. And perhaps most unnerving of all, there was no obvious tale. Comets always trail their history behind them, Dust and gas pushed away from the sun. Three Tie Atlas refused to obey. Teams all over the world swiveled their instruments toward it. Spectrometers, radio arrays, high-powered optics, everything capable of grasping its mystery. And still the questions grew. As it approached the inner solar system, anomalies multiplied. Its spectrum showed a reddish hue, hinting at organic rich material. But none of the details lined up with any known comet signature. Its gas emissions looked superficially normal, carbon dioxide, water, other volatiles, but their ratios were grotesquely wrong, off by orders of magnitude. It was unclassifiable. Stranger still, its path was unnervingly precise. Most interstellar objects plunge in from awkward angles, tumbling unpredictably through the plane of our planets. This one aligned itself perfectly with the solar system's ecliptic, the thin, flat disk along which our worlds travel. Hitting that plane by chance is like threading a needle across light years. One astronomer muttered under her breath. It's flying like it knows where it's going. Quietly, in labs across the globe, that remark echoed deliberate. By August, it was clear Three Eye Atlas would make its closest pass near Earth in late September. But as that moment approached, something happened no comet, no asteroid, no cosmic rock had ever done. It fired a light that should not exist, not a glow. Not a reflection. A beam. The first reports came from amateurs, those lonely watchers of the sky. Then professionals confirmed it. On the night of September 26th, several observatories captured the impossible. A luminous structure extending from three eye, not away from the sun, but aimed directly at Earth. At first it was dismissed as a trick of light or instrument error. But then came more images, from different continents, different angles. The truth solidified. The object was projecting a focused, sustained beam of light, not scattered, not diffused, narrow, bright, and deliberate, like a cosmic spotlight cutting across millions of kilometers and aimed unambiguously at our world. Every physics textbook teaches this. Comet tails point away from the sun, pushed outward by solar wind and radiation pressure. This was the opposite. The light faced its source, not fleeing from it, Hubble, infrared telescopes and radar stations all confirmed the beam's reality. It wasn't a tail. It wasn't sunlight. It was stable, holding its shape like a broadcast. Polarization data hinted at internal structure, 
not random scattering. Its brightness did not vary with rotation or solar angles. This wasn't an accident. This was something controlled. Was it a signal? A scanner? An instrument mapping Earth's fields? Electromagnetic observatories soon detected subtle ripples. Faint but consistent, tiny disturbances in radio noise, microwave background, even localized tremors in our magnetic field that coincided with the beam's activation. The implications were staggering. A message, a warning, her trigger. Scientists whispered the unthinkable. Three-Eye Atlas was no mere comet. It was doing something, and Earth was at the center of its attention. For decades, comets have been predictable in their beauty. As they near the sun, ice sublimates, gases vent, and the object blooms in light. A slow, graceful unfolding. But Three-Point Eye shredded that script. Instead of a smooth increase in brightness, its light output surged violently, sometimes within a single night. These weren't flickers. These were leaps, surges of magnitude so extreme that instruments once blind to it suddenly lit up with its glow. And then, without warning, it dimmed again, not over days, but hours. Nothing in nature behaves like this. Thermal heating doesn't flip on and off like a switch. No known cometary material produces such rapid transitions. Even stranger, the illumination seemed to come from the object itself, not from the cloud around it, self-directed, focused, localized. And as Earth drew closer to its trajectory, the bursts intensified. Was it responding to our proximity, charging up for something? Or was the timing an unbearable coincidence? Mathematicians trying to plot its light curve were left with jagged chaos, a graph more like a seismic event than a celestial one. One astrophysicist summed it up grimly. We're not watching a natural response to solar heat. We're watching something behave like it's following a script. Color joined the mystery next. Initially, three I had a reddish hue, the color of carbonaceous compounds familiar and unremarkable. Then abruptly it turned green. Not gradually, as chemical processes dictate. Instantly, a light switch from one mode to another. Cyanogen, diatomic carbon. These compounds can glow green, but they do so slowly, predictably, as sunlight excites them. This was different. This was instantaneous. Scientists began whispering new comparisons, not chemistry, but machinery. Like a system shifting operational states, aircraft lights communicate mode. Machines blink indicators. Was 3 d cycling through functions, scanning, transmitting, preparing? Spectroscopic readings confirmed the nightmare. Its chemical profile didn't match any known pattern. Exotic emissions. Gas ratios alien to natural processes. And during its green phase, the beam toward Earth strengthened. It's not just glowing green, one chemist said. It's doing something while it's green. Its composition was no less impossible. When the James Webb Space Telescope examined it, the fingerprint made no sense. Over 85% of its gas emissions were carbon dioxide, followed by carbon monoxide. Water, the lifeblood of comets, best was barely present at all. This was backwards, an inverted comet. And then came the detail that made even veteran astrochemists go silent. Nickel without iron. In nature, those two elements are inseparable, twins forged in the same stellar furnaces. But here, nickel stood alone. How does something form that breaks the rules of chemistry? Perhaps it doesn't form. Perhaps it's built. The gases venting from it didn't rise with heat or distance from the sun. They appeared to follow a schedule, not a reaction. Add to that the stable emissions, the localized gas releases, the absence of expected byproducts, and what emerged was not a natural outgassing, but something like deliberate output. Coolant? Fuel? Exhaust? Chemicals engineered to interact with planetary fields? No one could say. But everyone understood. This wasn't how the universe makes things. This was how someone makes things.